I will carry everybody along. Bola Tenumbu promises after meeting Humayi. Hello everyone, you're welcome to the news. As Bola Tenumbu is still enjoying the euphoria of his victory at the just concluded APC convention that took place in Abuja, where he is the presidential aspirant, he has been going around speaking language of hope and trying to infuse trust in a lot of people. Let's get right into the news. The All Progressive Pro Congress presidential candidate Bola Tinumbu paid an unscheduled visit to Ebony State Governor David Omai. The meeting, which was held behind closed doors in the early hours of Thursday at the Abuja residence of Umai, was part of the moves by the APC flag bearer towards reconciling all the aspirants who contested the party's tickets with him. It was also aimed at seeking support and addressing salient issues arising from the just concluded presidential convention. The Punch reports that the presidential candidate had also on Thursday paid, vis paid a visit to the Vice President Professor Yemi Oshibajo. Ashiwaju had earlier visited the President Major General Muhammadu Buhari at his residence in the presidential villa and afterwards decided to make a promise call on the VP. He was accompanied by the Lagos State Governor Babajide Sonwolu. A statement made available to journalists on Thursday night by Humayi's Special Assistant on Strategy, Honorable Chuks Oko, quoted Tinumbu as describing the Governor as a a fighter who threw in everything during the contest and a man with proven track records and capacity to do well in any position. Umayi has become a rallying point for Igbo integration in the mainstream national politics. He said, and I quote, My administration, when elected, will carry all parts of the country along, irrespective of gender, tribe and religion, and address issues of marginalization and all forms of injustices. Responding, Governor Umayi, who doubles as chairman of the Southeast Governors Forum, assured him of his support and that of all members of the APC in the entire region. Governor Umayi, who had earlier congratulated the APC flag bearer, said, The country needs to unite under the party to consolidate on the already achieved success of the President, Major General Muhammadu Buhari. I also have absolute confidence that the country we have a further leap under the leadership of Alaji Bola Ahmed Tinumbu. So this is, well, the effort Tinumbu has been making, going round to all the contestants to pay them a visit. It did same to Rotimi Amechi, it's done same to the Vice President Yemi Oshibajo, and now it's done the same to Governor Umayi. Well, everybody knows Bola Ahmed Tinumbu has the brain for politics. No one can take that from him. And um, he's playing it well, as at this time, trying to do that. It's not a wrong thing to do, you know, when you, you decide to be humble in victory. But how long will this take him to endear himself to the hearts of even, you know, people who feel aggrieved that they've lost in the presidential primary election? Nigeria needs a leader who will speak hope. Because honestly, one thing that we have been deprived on from in um, the administration of Muhammadu Buhari is the fact that his speeches are not filled with hope that can suit pain. He is more very, you know, very distant when he's saying his speech. And honestly, as human beings, as the leader, the ruler, and um, the manager of the old Nigeria, we expect when he speaks, because even sometimes when city incidents happen, when we are saying, oh, the president is here to address us, and everything is in place because as a leader you're in charge and you should speak up to your people you should take action all right you should know how to manage people's psychology is emotional intelligence but like one time that Femi additional tried to defend his boss to say oh he's an ex-general the fact that one is an ex-general doesn't mean that you shouldn't speak hope you shouldn't know how to you know manage your people because who we know now is President Mohamedou Buhari. However, does it really change anything? Time will tell. So let's see if Bala Metinubu will still go around to visit the other contestants at the aspirant, sorry, at the just concluded presidential um, primary election in Abuja. How far can Bala Metinubu go to, you know, to win the election as the top contenders now is him, um, 
Peter Obi of L the Labour Party LP, Atiku Abubaka of PDP. Atiku two has been contesting from 1993 in the period of MQ Abiola election. He's also one leader who has tried all he could to get to the position he, he occupies right now as the leader and the flag bearer of the PDP's presidential election. So please share your comments in the comment section below. Like I always say, it's getting more interesting, but the truth of the matter is there are more important issues that affect lives of Nigerians that our, our leaders are not looking into right now because they are busy with politicking. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, share and subscribe to our channel and drop your comments in the comment section below. May God bless Nigeria. I'll see you in the next news. Bye for now.